welcome back to my channel it's your girl is the williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video what a night it was in the big brother niger house pool party was pulling yes did i just say pool party was pulling the party was partying i mean it started on a very low note because i guess the housemates were tired they just got off the um arla lopak tags which team the light one the team that consists of the aces that is suge and tofa double k that is kelly ray and cassia and of course shatoria that is sean and victoria that's actually the very first win that victoria and sean has had in that house i think also Suge, yeah yes anyways a very big congratulations to them they won it 10 minutes after big brother told them oh yeah prepare for pool parties you see that's why i used to think right this is the part the parties that they have in that house sometimes it feels like a chore and not like something you do for relaxation because in real life if you want to party like nobody's going to tell you 10 minutes to party and uh, five minutes to party now it seems like it's a chore for them but i mean big brother niger housemates for this season if there's something they know how to do is to party and and I enjoy their party. I said it started a bit slow, honestly, but later on it kind of picked up and I enjoyed it. There were some funny moments too. Yes, I mean, the moment where Suj wanted to dance with Handy and he went towards her, but thing is, it wasn't Handy, it was actually Wani. But the moment he saw the name tag and saw that it was Wani, he now just moved away from there and went to seek out Handy and Sean immediately beeline to us, you know, where I need to ask her to come and sit on his ties or his lap. I saw that. I'm like, okay, I mean, interesting. Or is it the moment that Cassia, like, I don't know, maybe she was carried away and she was dancing seductively, of course, with Toby. She was really grinding up on him, you know, and twerking up on him. And I think the moment she realized herself, she just, you know, moved away from there and beelined towards her husband that is kelly ray that was funny to me is it the moment when suit you know when um nelly was dancing shaking what her mama gave her and there were other guys there there was femi there was oc you know they were dancing and sue just came in between them you know to cover um nelly's um behind and was dancing with her grinding up on her very funny. Or is it the time that Ben was actively looking at Nelly dancing inside the pool, shaking her behind? And guess who was looking at him? Chizoba. Chizoba was just there standing there looking at him like, this my man, I don't understand. And this guy was just busy looking at Nelly's behind, shaking, and he was just screaming like, ah, men go stay in your wife. Talking about men, did you guys see, you know, the almost dance with OC and Handy? I mean, see i cannot see it whenever i see oc and handy getting very close now and my mind just goes back to the fact that both of them were once i don't know bedmates or whatever buddies that they were because we can't really say that they were exes because all they were doing was to trap each other so yes my mind just goes back to that and i'm like okay oh. i'm just there giving them the side eye so after the party um they decided to play some games yes but big brother had something up his sleeve because big brother was like you know what um he had already given them a tax right that they had to work for 200 have 200,000 steps i think that's it and also he also included that whenever that music plays there was a music he would play whenever it plays they have to like come to the um uh, main lounge and be doing jumping jacks until the music starts playing so whenever they hear this song they have to do jumping jacks i don't know who came up with that like big brother why are you like that me if it's me i'll just say that because i hate jumping jacks naturally tell me to do push-ups i can do it but you see jumping jacks i hate it anyways this housemate had no qualms you know doing that but big brother had to make it worse telling them okay you see that song is going to be playing you know tonight so um every maybe 10 minutes or 20 minutes the song will come up again and they have to leave whatever they are doing come to the main lounge because it's also part of the criteria for their wager today um come to the main lounge and do jumping jacks it was crazy but the housemate decided to make the best of it and play games first they did um lemon lemon and then question question which ended up in truth or theirs now that's where the phone started let me tell you oc is crazy they asked oc okay oh, your fantasy um two of your top fantasies guess what this guy was saying that he needed nine girls like in a certain like more these in those kind of more these hearts and the girls will surround him and be ah 
I'm like, oh God, we used to think you are a mature man. Oh, this one you're always saying more mature, mature, mature. Is this what it is? And to top it all, the second one, he said he needs like two DJ flows. DJ flow was obviously uncomfortable. She was like, eh? You know how DJ flow, we always say, turn me on. This time she was like, no, I'm turned off. <laughs> and OC was not ready to leave her alone. Thank God for Big Brother because while, you know, that was happening, that was when the song came up and they had to start doing their jumping jacks. Also, we had a kiss again between Anita and Tofa. Yes, I don't know what Ben has against Anita. I don't know what he sees in Anita's body because he keeps always daring Anita to do stuff, especially with Tofa. Like, let the babe rest now. At some point, it was always Anita, Anita, Anita. But that kiss, it was monumental because a lot of housemates were like, yes, they were asked to kiss for 30 seconds and later on, they um anita protested and then they said okay 10 seconds but they kissed more than 10 seconds almost 20 seconds like their reaction to that case is what's killing me wani is a goat because what why was she bringing out her tongue like that <laughs> but honestly i did i mean that kiss looks very beautiful you see tofa and anita they actually look beautiful and compliment each other yes also handy was at to name in three guys she would love to have sex with outside of the house but like housemates right and she mentioned oc i'm like ah okay then she mentioned doc that is tj and then she mentioned kelly ray oh my if you see the way cassie's face or cassia's face was <laughs> and the fool kelly ray was busy enjoying that he was just blushing i'm like okay -o. and then sean sean was also asked to name three girls he would love to straff you know outside of the house and it was a difficult moment because he didn't want to do that. And when he was like shining her eye, and at the end of the day, I think he said, who did he call again? He called DJ Flo. I think he called maybe Anita. Um, I forgot the third person he called, but these are not like people that a lot of housemates expected him to call. We all know this housemate wanted him to call maybe Nelly or Victoria, but he didn't give them that satisfaction. And OC and other housemates were like, you are lying, dude. We know you are lying. And when it was like, leave him alone. Who gave you the right to say that he's, this is not his choice? I'm like, big girl, calm down. We know what they are playing at. We know that Sean will never, I mean, judging from what happened to him last week, Thursday, where Wani and um, had they called him to a meeting, I'm sure he wouldn't want a repeat of that. Yes. Also, Mayor Frosch was asked to name three girls that he's attracted to in the house. Ah, no wonder Ruti was not having it with him last night in that Twitter there. And he mentioned Ruti, he mentioned Nelly, and I think he mentioned Handy. I mean, the moment he mentioned Nelly, for me, it sealed it all because Ruti, no one user to hear, hear that name, especially when it concerns Mayor Frosh. Well, in all of this, I like to ask Onyeka and OZ fans, the O2 shippers, did you guys even sleep at all? because your ship looks like it's moving to the permanent site. These two people were up all night talking, giving us sweet nonsense. Yes, I mean, it's obvious that they like each other. The only thing that is kind of putting a wedge between them is obviously the relationship that Ozzy has outside because Onyeka is trying to be respectful of his relationship. But you can see that both of them, I mean, they gave out a lot last night. They slept in Onyeka's bed. You see Ozzy leaving Onyeka's bed this morning. This ship, how una they ship her? Because una ship na be the highlight of the night last night or early this morning. On that note, I'd like to say everybody, thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ New Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.